Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I'm 77 years old and live in Sweden. And uh, if you've seen any of my videos before, you've probably noticed they're about um, sailing, um, my single-handed sailing adventures in Greece. Um, but also about painting, um, my different painting techniques. Anyway, what I'm going to show you today is um, something completely different. Um, I wanted to show you what I've done about a problem that many women have uh, as you get older. Losing your hair is a catastrophe for most women. And um, I've lost a lot of hair and uh, I thought I'd start doing something about it. I didn't want to uh, use a wig um, because I thought it would be fake or false or the wrong colour or something. Um, but I thought if I use my own hair um, to make this uh, hair topper, as it's called, then um, it wouldn't be fake, it wouldn't be false. It would be my own hair that I'm just moving around. So after the pandemic when I couldn't get to the hairdressers, I let my gr hair grow and um, uh, a while ago I cut some off and as you see I've got some uh, surplus hair that I could use for a topper and just move, move it up here. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how I did it and I hope this will be of help to other women in the same situation. So here you are. So as you see I've lost a lot of hair on the top of my head and um, the sides a bit. There's still a little bit of hair in the middle uh, which will hold the clips in place when I get that far. Anyway, this is what I look like and um, I don't want to use a hat all the time, uh, especially not indoors. So uh, I felt I really had to do something about this. Um, you can see my whole head and I've got lots of hair on the sides and the back. so. This is what I'm going to use for my new topper. I start by taking two pieces of wide masking tape, a little bit longer than the width of my forehead. I fold the ends in and place them sticky side up about a quarter of an inch apart or about six millimeters. Then I put masking tape on the ends to stabilize the strips. Now I can start placing the hair evenly along the sticky tape. Don't worry, this tape is just temporary. It'll be removed later. This is easier if you have straight hair or longer hair, but I have just wavy hair and quite short. It doesn't matter if it's slightly different lengths, but it will be the upper part here um, in full length. The lower part will be folded in, so that needs to be quite short.
Now strips of masking tape are placed over the top, keeping the same distance as the other side. It's carefully pressed down. The ends are secured. Now it's all one piece that can be lifted from the table. I've threaded my sewing machine with thread that's about the same colour as my hair and turned the regulator to zigzag with a width the same as the space between the two strips of masking tape. I'm sewing backwards and forwards eight times. Now I'm bending the fold over with a steam iron. and sewing the folded hair piece on top of the fold. This is once again using the zigzag function. It's time to remove the tape. A few strands of hair will come off. This is unavoidable, but with the multiple rows of zigzag stitching, most will still be in place. Now the clips can be hand sewn in place. I tie a three doubled knot to secure the end of the thread.
the teeth of the clips should face towards you. Sew three times through each clip to firmly secure the clip. Repeat this for each clip, one on each end and one in the middle. The whole procedure was repeated once again but the rest of the hair I cut off. So now I have two individual hair pieces I can use to cover the bold areas on my head. So now I'm going to try and cover the bold spots I have um, with the hair that I cut off um, and uh, and I've sewn these clips in, so now I should be able to just clip the loose hair on. I haven't got much hair in the middle, but anyway, it can be clipped on there. And now, this is my curly fringe. So um, my original idea with having um, a hairpiece uh, facing forward and another hairpiece facing backwards to cover the bold patch on the top of my head didn't really work. It didn't look right. So I decided I would try and um, do a messy bun instead. Um, I'll try and do it for you now. Mm. It's a bit difficult, but I think I'll get it right. Mm. As you can see, it's uh, there's not much hair, but um, this is where I'll use the second hair piece um, to try once again to cover my bold spot in the, on the top of my head. So I'll put the clips in. It's not easy doing this in front of the camera. <clears throat> right. There it is. <sighs> so, um, apart from a bit of hair out of place, it's, uh, the idea is good. Um, I can shake my head, nothing happens, and um, it looks like, now, apart from this bit here, needs a bit of tidying up, but um, I think the result is quite good, don't you? So now, after a lot of trial and error, I think I got it right. Um, you can see all the way around. I've got my fringe here and my messy bun. And then I've taken some hair from the side and pulled it over the transition between the fringe and the bun. So, uh, I think it's looking good, don't you? Mm -hmm.